Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And if you didn't start yet, y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Yeah, man, this these this is one of those videos where I hate to say I told you so. One of those videos where I hate to say I told you so. I told you so. Shout out to KPRC Two News. We're gonna read this article. I'm gonna play the video first. Woman known as Brick Lady charged in Houston after being accused of making whole thing up, raising forty two thousand dollars on GoFundMe. Um, it was fake, y'all. What I've been saying since day one, it was fake. And I remember when I first heard this story, man. When I first heard, before I seen the video, when I first heard the story. And I sat there thinking to myself, this is crazy. A man got mad because he asked a woman for her number. She said no, and he retaliated by hitting her with a brick. I say, this is crazy. This is insane. Then I saw the video. No lacerations. Just this big ass swollen thing on her face. And I'm like, what the hell is that? It looked like she had an allergic reaction. You should have, you got hit in the head with a brick. No blood, no lacerations. Your occipital lobe, your eye socket should have been shattered. Eye swollen shut. Brain hemorrhaging, brain damage. No blood nowhere. Coherent. No, no slurred speech whatsoever. Conscious. How is that possible? I've seen big ass 200 pound, 300 pound men be knocked out with way less. I said, this has to be fake. I've done the bunk videos. I put all those eyes on the top, I remember all those things. But let's let's get into it, y'all. We're going to read the article after. Let's let's play this video because I, I, need, I need to know what's up. The woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the Galleria with the latest, Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osman. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Seen here in tears in a hospital gown. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after. This is the chief, y'all. This is the chief. And I said this before, yo, where's the police reports? What's going on? This this happened back in uh, like August, September. Here it is, three, four, five, damn near five months later. We never heard an update from this woman. I wonder why. But protect black women. Black men is trying to kill us. Black men is trying to do all this stupid ass stuff. All the time, fellas, y'all boys, pay attention. This is how far, same thing with Carly Russell. This is how far that they will go. This is how far. It's some, bro, I'm telling y'all right now. Oh, a man attacked me in front of black men and black men did nothing. See, woman, see, look, they hate us. This is the same woman that was running around here making TikTok videos talking about she don't need a man. She don't want man to do this, that, and a third. Now you have a man doing exactly what you've been begging us to do, which is not to do anything, to leave you the, the, the almost cussed, to leave you the hell alone. Now you're still upset about it. Black man, we can't win for nothing. <laughs> we can't win for nothing, bro. I'm telling y'all. This, this is crazy. Let's keep going. She refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No. 
that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor. She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water. Oh, wow. So she assaulted a man first. Wow. Big surprise. Big surprise, y'all boys. Oh my God, she actually, she put her hands on a man first. What? No, never, never. We, no, nah, those types of things don't happen. No, nah, man, no, nah, he lying. He made that up, y'all. He made that up. That can't be true. She assaulted a man first? No way. No, nah, that ain't happened. They're lying now. This this is fake news. Let me, y'all go ahead and skip to the next goddamn video. This is fake news, y'all. No way in hell this is happening. No way this happened. She assaulted a man first. Wow, I'm so goddamn shocked. This can't be life. This cannot be life right now. A bottle that hit her, not a brick. He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence that I have suffered since September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get go for these for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually am talented. And tonight is my oh god here, here we go with the ads. Um, um and set up your GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the mis Okay so real, real quick y'all but before he raises out it, it's just it's just it's, it's Fellas, I'm telling y'all boys, these are the women, and if y'all remember correctly, these are the women that was trying to kill me in the comment section. She was injured. She was attacked. Oh, De it's men like you, Dev. Men like you that don't believe and protect black women. And this, that, and third, even though I have several videos on my channel where I give black women phrases where I talk about my love and my support uh, for black women coming from a black man that has only dated black woman my entire goddamn life i don't understand how you as black of course I'm, matter of fact let me not say that i understand because y'all don't know me in real life so i get it. it is what it is um i hate the fact that they was coming at me instagram facebook tiktok youtube etc oh black men like you that's the reason why we date out that's the reason we fear because you're gonna attack us because of da, 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 da. oh my god this is why i'm so scared to say to reject the guy I said this since day one, bro, no man in their right mind is going to sit here and do all that just because you rejected him. I said this before. I said, yo, listen, I don't think, I said, if this was true, I don't think it was the fact that you said no. You had to have done something for a man to retaliate like that, let alone to pick up a brick and to do that. No. And what did this, the, the uh, chief, uh, not chief, I'm sorry. My bad. I said police chief. The uh, the prosecutor, whoever he is, the uh, pros prosecutor and he said, what, what did he say? She attacked him. He had a water bottle in his hand, and we believe that he, that he may have struck her with the water bottle after she assaulted him. This is crazy. <laughs> let, let, let me hurry up and finish this, y'all, because I, I want to read this article. This use of our platform, the fundraiser has been removed from the platform, all Good. donors have been refunded, and Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Good. Good. But let her tell it. I'm actually educated. I'm actually talented. No, you're not, ma'am. You have you do videos where you run around slapping people and running and taking off. You have videos of you assaulting people and then running around. That's not talented. It's not telling me that you are educated. Black women, I want y'all to get in this comment section and tell us, hey, yo, we are sorry. We made a mistake because y'all were the main ones pushing this dumbass. Let me be, let me be PC because YouTube already on my ass. <laughs> uh, this 
sorry excuse of a person pushing and supporting her, donating. Bro, it got up to like 50, 60K and it would have been more had we not stepped up and had this crap shut down. Hashtag protect black women. Let's keep going, y'all. Osman did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston police. We're live near the Galleria. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bryce, thank you. So she's wanted. Ma'am, go ahead, turn yourself in. Everybody know what you look like. And I will be doing an update on that video too. <laughs> Damn stupid ass. Let, 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 let's read this. Uh, let's, let's read this article. Of course, y'all. I will make sure to copy. Let me copy it now, so I don't forget. Um, yeah. So I'll copy and paste it in the link uh, in the description, so y'all can go ahead and read on that if y'all if y'all want to. But let, let's let's get into it, y'all. I think I read it already, but I will read it again. Woman known as Brick Lady charged in Houston after being accused of making whole thing up, raising forty two thousand dollars. Excuse me, on GoFundMe. Um, a woman who went viral on social media after making claims a man assaulted her with a brick outside a Houston club is now accused of raising tens of thousands of dollars on GoFundMe as a scam. Rhoda Osman, who's 33 years old, has been charged with felony theft by deception. She made it all up, y'all. She made it all up. Even still, yes, she was attacked that night. Even still... She was the aggressor, which means that man was defending himself. I said that since the first video. I said, yo, listen, this, this, this doesn't make any sense to me. There has to be more to the story. She had to have been the aggressor or she had to have said something that will make a man retaliate regardless the man was wrong. If she said something verbally to make him attack her, it was still wrong. And then I went on to say if she attacked him, that would be self-defense. So he shouldn't be charged and all this other and she needs to be arrested. I said that since day one, but whatever, let's keep going. Uh, has been charged with theft, uh, I'm sorry, has been charged with felony theft by deception. According to the charging documents, Osmond raised at least $40,000 through a fraudulent GoFundMe page she started in September that she claimed, uh, that claimed she was a victim of a similar attack more than three years ago. Yeah, she made another video about three, four years ago where she raised like an additional 80, 90K. Three years ago, so she, so she, she's so educated and talented, but she's doing this on GoFundMe, but she educated and talented, right? Let's keep going. On September 3rd, Houston police responded to an aggravated assault uh, incident. They met Osmond and her female friend during the investigation. Officer reported that Osmond was intoxicated, hostile, and irate, of course. She, she's an alcoholic, big surprise. Uh, in the original police report made at the scene, Osmond claimed that she was walking on Schumer Lane where an unknown man threw a brick at her when she would not give him her phone number court documents show. So she changed her story so many times. She said it was an Uber driver. She said it was a man that followed her around the club and then followed her outside the club. Now she's saying she was walking down the street where an unknown man just randomly attacked her because he, she wouldn't give her, like, he, like come, just craziness. Uh, let's keep going. She also told officers she had ordered an Uber and believed the brick throwing suspect was the Uber driver. Again, trying to change the story. Osmond said she got into the car with him, where then he tried to kidnap her. According to documents, Osmond stated that the, uh, that the suspect was involved in human trafficking and had a large group of women in the car with him. A large group of women? What type of car was he driving? A goddamn school bus? Anyway, on September 15, detectives tried to reach Osmond, but the number she provided was her friend's number, who was also at the scene when the incident was reported. The friend said that she was not from Houston and went out several places to drink with Osmond. Uh, documents show she also, I'm sorry, she said Osmond reportedly called her male friends to come pick them up. When the men arrived, Osmond and the friend got into the vehicle, which was a dark color sedan. The woman told investigators that she got, in, uh, she got into the right front passenger seat, Osmond in the back seat with another man. As they were driving, she reportedly heard Osmond yell, ouch, why you hit me? but stated that she did not hear an argument before she heard Osmond yell it. Uh, the friend stated off the record that she did not believe Osmond was hit with a brick according to charging documents. Of course not. The, the friend looking like, yo, I don't want no parts in this. I don't want no parts in this. The friend told the detective that the suspect who allegedly assaulted Osmond got out of their vehicle, got into another vehicle, and drove off. She said Osmond went live on Instagram, and she tried to convince Osmond to call the police. Uh, the friend said she didn't know the two men she got into the car with and would not be able to positively identify the suspect's involved according to documents a detective finally made contact with osmond on september 19th why so it happened september 3rd hold on september 3rd september 19th a detective was finally made contact with osmond on september 19th i would that's that's 16 days later that's two weeks later 
I would imagine you would have been at the police September 4th, September 5th, September 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. It took until the 19th for you to finally get in contact with the goddamn police. Were you in the hospital for two? Were you in a coma? What took you so long to respond? Whatever. During the phone interview, Osmond told the detective that her friend came to town and picked all the clubs that they went to that night. They reported started at the O2 Lounge and then went to Liquid Lounge. Osmond said as they left the club, she called an Uber. Uh, according to the charging documents, when the dark uh, colored sedan pulled up, Osmond thought it was the Uber she called. She had called and got inside. Osmond told the detective that's when the detective hit her in the face with a brick. So he hit her in the face inside the vehicle. Okay, I thought it was on. Whatever. Uh, she also stated that she did her own investigation and found out it was a man named Olan Douglas who assaulted her. So she did her own investigation. So that's what she was, she was doing. She's a detective now. She detect she 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 damn detective damn Dick Tracy now. She detective Dick Tracy now. So she had to do her own investigation. That's what she was doing for the last two weeks, two and a half weeks, y'all. That's why she wasn't responsible for the from September third through September eighteenth. Okay, cool. Now I get it. Uh, when Osmond was asked where was, was what, what was her friend at the time, she reportedly became upset and said her friend was far away from her while talking to another guy. But the friend said that she witnessed or heard the alleged assault, saying, hey, why did you hit me? Conflicting evidences. Again, uh, Osmond then changed her story, big surprise, to say she was assaulted by, she was assaulted at the Liquid Lounge Club after more questioning from the Houston police detective. Osmond became uh, upset asked to speak with the detective supervisor and then hung up. The detective said he will provide her uh, the name of his sergeant. Of course, she's getting upset because, yo, you 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 are changing the story. The man trying to figure everything out and you changing the story. And instead of you saying, hey, listen, bro, I made it all up. No. Deny, deny, deny. Fake, fake, fake. Hashtag believe all women. Hashtag protect black women. Let's keep going, y'all. She getting mad that the damn detective talking about I want to speak to the damn supervisor. Damn. The detective doing his job, he's just asking questions. Why are you getting so mad? On September 20th, Houston police detective uh, canvassed the area where the assault was reported and spotted surveillance camera in the 5600 block of Schumer. Uh, the company that owns the cameras provided the detective with footage from them charging documents show. In the footage, the man that Osmond claimed hit her, Alan uh, Douglas, was also identified. Uh, detective said Douglas Osmond and her friends were seen uh, talking amongst each other and walking towards Tick. Talk Garden Lounge. Uh, okay. Uh, they all reportedly went inside the club together. About 20 minutes later, the video shows the trio walked outside the club, then walked toward a white Maserati that was parked directly on the side of the business. Douglas was reported seen leaning on the right front passenger door while, uh, while Osmond walks towards him. According to the documents, the surveillance fillers show that Osmond started dancing on Douglas while her friends was in front of the vehicle talking to another man. The video then reportedly shows all four people get inside the Maserati. So basically, she was twerking on him before. Uh, the unidentified man got into the driver's seat. The friend got into the right front passenger. Osmond and Douglas entered the back, according to the documents. A few moments later, Douglas was reportedly seen getting out the back, uh, the back right side, and then Osmond and her friend also got out. According to charging charge documents, Osmond and Douglas were in an argument, and Douglas reportedly swung his right hand, holding what appears to be a plastic water bottle, and struck Osmond in the face. Detective said Osmond then sat in the front passenger seat of the vehicle while Douglas stepped away. Uh, he reportedly got into the back seat of the Audi A3 that had pulled up. When Osmond got out the vehicle, detectives said the unidentified man who was driving who was driving it took off. The footage capturing uh, the incident did not show. Oh, I'm sorry, did not support Osmond's reported statement. Charging documents show, of course not. Um, listen, yeah, so I, it it keeps going on and on, y'all. If if y'all want, y'all can go ahead and read on. Um, you know, it's, it, this this video is going on long enough, but I mean, it's it's just it's just amazing, man. It's just amazing the lies, the BS, how far they are willing to go to, to spread these lies, to spread this BS, to, to show them that, oh, black men is not doing anything to protect them, to show how they're being attacked. And, oh, yeah, we can't even reject a man before getting a... Bro, listen, I've been rejected so many times. Men have been rejected so many times. It's almost assumed that every time we shoot our shot at a chick, there's a high probability that we're not going to be able to land, let alone get the number. We're not, we're not even going to be able to land that plane. In most cases, we understand that. Being in the dating world, you have to have that type of knowledge. You have to have that type of knowledge. So it pisses me off when you see these types of videos and then the women just taking off with it. Same thing with the Carly Russell. And I am to blame with that too because I believe Carly Russell. Uh, but same thing with the Carly Russell incident. 
Same thing. We're programmed to believe everything that comes out of women's mouth without second guessing it. We are now, as of recent, reprogramming ourselves to say, to question what really happened. Hey, listen, you have, your story is faulty. There's some holes in your story. It's not making any sense. This, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. And then what happens? We get hit with irate and aggression and, oh, oh, you don't want to believe us? I don't, uh, what she said, get your supervisor and hang the phone up. The damn detective like, bro, I'm trying to do my, all, all I'm doing is asking questions. Your story is not adding up. You keep changing the story. You said you was inside. The man followed you outside where you were attacked. The video didn't show that. You said you was walking down the street where a man just randomly attacked you. The video did not show that. The video ain't show none of this. Everything that you said, according to the charging documents, was a completely different narrative. According to the damn video footage, completely different narrative. The same man that you was dancing and twerking on was the same man that allegedly attacked you randomly. But what did the damn prosecutor say that the video showed? The video showed her attacking a man first. I'm going to try to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell, some massage, and time to make upload notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. Look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, have a safe